Hello all, welcome to the Costa Rica series. Today was day 9, the final day of our stay at Costa Rica. We focused our travels around Manuel Antonio National Park. We stayed at Shana by the beach, which is located very close to Manuel Antonio Beach. This is a very popular resort hotel and very well known to have views of the ocean in its backyard. In fact, this resort has very short, beautiful trails that leads to the beach itself. This hotel is also known to be surrounded by a tropical forest, which attracts a lot of wildlife and toucans, squirrels, ducks, sloths, and even monkeys. The resort also offered continental and traditional style buffet breakfast, which we did not miss. Later, we headed towards the Manuel Antonio National Park. We hired a guide here who brought his scope with him and helped us spot a lot of wildlife. As we entered the park, we saw a ton of white-faced capuchin monkeys playing around. Our guide told us that this park has at least three different species of monkeys capuchin, spider, and howler monkeys. He gave us a lot of details about the flora and the fauna in this region. Without this guide, we could not have spotted a lot of tiny animals. The white-faced capuchin monkeys are especially prominent in Manuel Antonio National Park, where they are known to exhibit cheeky behavior by snatching food from tourists. We were warned earlier before entering the park to be very careful. They also play a significant role in their habitat. Their hearty appetite and varied diet helps spread the seeds, control the insect populations and keep the balance of the forest itself. This is a Jesus Christ lizard. It is called so because it can run on the water surface. Semi-aquatic. Right? in the forest. Oh my god. You have so much crap. See? It's kind of a scare. Maybe you had an encounter with a predator or something. Yeah. And it's scar. The wind. We were able to spot a lot of tiny interesting animals and the guide and his scope was definitely helpful.
Sloths are some of the most common Costa Rican animals of the rainforest. After the guided tour, we spent some time walking on the Manuel Antonio Beach. This is said to be a very beautiful beach of this region of Costa Rica. After the beach, we went to El Avion restaurant. This restaurant is a very popular one with a cargo plane converted into a pub and a two-level bar and the restaurant itself built in, around and above this plane. It was very interesting to explore the old cargo plane after we had our delicious lunch. Is my dish. Red snapper, fresh caught with shrimp. And this is seafood in a curry. Shrishti is enjoying Mahi Mahi from the ocean, which is here. Later in that afternoon, we started driving back to San Jose, and on the way, we stopped at Hako Beach. We drove to San Jose and reached late night and caught our flight 
back to Dallas early in the morning. Well, that concludes our 10-day vacation in Costa Rica. Pura Vida!